everyone, Ramel here, and today I'll be doing my 2021 setup tour. This is probably going to be the last setup tour that I do in this room, as my wife and I are trying to look for a new space for our growing family. I did really just want to share what's changed over the past couple of years, especially since I have been getting into a lot more things like making more YouTube videos, streaming on Twitch, and starting to make custom mechanical keyboards and cables. I am still a software engineer, so I do still use this room primarily as an office for my nine to five job. All of my gaming is done in this room. Most of, if not all of my YouTube videos are filmed and edited in this room. On top of all of that, I do stream and make mechanical keyboards out of here as well. There is a lot going on, so let's get started. The desk is still the same Linmon, Adels, and Alex combo, except I did change the top to a white Linmon instead of the black one, and I moved the Alex drawer to the other side. Inside of the Alex drawers, I keep a lot of my miscellaneous items like all of my extra mice, keyboard parts, as well as all of the tools that I use when making a keyboard. My PC now also sits on top of my desk because honestly, I just thought it looked too nice to keep underneath and I do like staring at it while I'm working and it does make a pretty good backdrop for these YouTube videos. And for my chair, I am still using the Herman Miller Aeron. This has definitely been one of the best purchases that I've made for my setup and I highly recommend getting an ergonomic chair. Both of my work and gaming setups do still plug into the same monitors and they are the Gigabyte AD27QD and the Asus ProArt PA278QD. I did have the 24 inch Dell, but it died on me last summer. And because of that, I decided to upgrade to a 27 inch 144p IPS panel I do still use MacBook Pros for both work and personal projects. They are now both 2019 16 inch MacBook Pros. The one I use for work is the i7 and my personal one is the i9. As much as I dislike dongles, it has made it a lot easier to transition between laptops and using my monitors. I only have to plug in two cables and all of my peripherals are hooked up. The PC that I use is still the same 3900X build that I did back in 2019. It's been able to handle everything that I've thrown at it, especially while streaming. And here is the spec list. The motherboard is the Asus Prime X5 750 Pro. The processor is the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X has 16 gigabytes DDR4 3200 RAM, has the 2070 Super and an Elgato HD capture card. And it is inside the Fractal Design Meshify C. For my keyboard, it's a custom mechanical keyboard that I recently built. It's the Tofu 60 with a DZ60 PCB and an aluminum plate. For the switches, I'm using the Gateron Black Ink V2s and they're lubed with Crytox 205G0. For my mouse, I'm currently using the G Pro Wireless for gaming and for work, I use the Logitech MX Master 3. I am still also using the Glorious XL mousepad and haven't had any issues with it. My audio setup now consists of the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pros. My microphone is the Rode Procaster and that's plugged into the Go XLR. For the rest of my streaming gear, I use the Stream Deck which has been very useful and definitely has been worth the money and I use the Go XLR for the audio interface. The camera that I do use is the X-T4. It's usually mounted on the blue compass while I'm streaming and it's plugged into the Camlink 4K. When I'm not gaming and I'm building mechanical keyboards or lubing switches, I do use the X-T4 as my overhead camera and I use the C922 as my face cam. The blue compass surprisingly works really well as a boom arm for the camera. Um, it is mirrorless, so it's not too heavy, especially with the lenses that I use, so I don't have to use a C-stand. It works well when I'm using it as a face cam as well as an overhead cam. I do also have this Viltrox light that I use um, to light up my face while I'm streaming. Um, 
And I do also have my PlayStation 5 and my Nintendo Switch. So yeah, all of my gaming happens in this room. As much as I want to put the PlayStation 5 outside with the 4K TV, I do like to stream it every now and then. And it's plugged into the Elgato HD capture card as well as the Nintendo Switch. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my setup tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I was planning on including all of the stuff that I use for my keyboard build, but that probably would have taken this video a little too far. So I'll probably save that for another video. If you guys want to see that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, as much as the space is small, I have been able to do a lot of the stuff that I need to do in this room. Like I said, I program in here. I make YouTube videos, I stream, make keyboards, cables. So far, everything has been great in this room. It does get a little bit cramped, especially when I have like my recording gear set up. Like I have my camera, my light up there. I've been pretty happy, but I am also excited. Hopefully the new space that we do find has a bigger room. Um, I can take advantage of more space and hopefully make my workflow a little bit better when it comes to making these YouTube videos, get more lights. I, I do still stream on Twitch, but I did change my name. I am streaming under Ramel Driss now, so it's twitch.tv slash Ramel Driss, and I am now only streaming every Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's gonna be it for the setup tour. Again, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next one.